Hey guys, what's up? This is Tom from TDD Tom's Tech Time. Today we're talking about the POI, the point of interest feature of our DJI Phantom 3. And DJ, I just released it today and I took it to the test for you guys. I took the day off. Really? Not making money. I mean, besides that video, if you have clicked at the commercial. Yeah. And um, yeah, just watch and enjoy what this function does and how we can work it out. And gotta be honest with you, it's August and I already bought some Christmas thing. It's September. <laughs> <They're pining. laughs> Okay guys, now we're good to go. Actually, being honest, I recorded this tutorial four times for you guys yesterday and uh, my screen recorder messed it all up completely. But right now I am back and I'm going to redo this tutorial right now for you guys. So I'm going to show you how to use the POI function right now. First of all, we have to open up a menu by tapping at the quadcopter symbol at the upper left hand side of the screen and that brings up the MC settings menu. And in here we can set the maximum flight altitude and of course the maximum flight altitude is going to act as the maximum flight altitude for the POI as well. But I think 120 meters are absolutely fine and you should always keep in mind that things look more interesting the lower you fly. And um, yeah, 120 meters is fine. I mean, if you want to cruise around the Bouge à la Rab, uh, you could put a higher value in there, but you probably don't want to get caught uh, in Dubai. Huh? We don't know what happens then. So right now, let's just tap at advanced settings and let's right now tap at multiple flight mode because we want to enable that mode until it turns green. And that is absolutely fine for now. Let's just close the menu. And right now we can bring the copter up in the air already. Right now, let's just take off. And right now, we want to switch the toggle to uh, the F mode. And the F mode is the function mode. And you can find that uh, switch at the upper left hand side of your remote controller. And right now, this intelligent navigation menu pops up and we can tap at point of interest. And right now, the system tells us to fly at least five meters high to set a point of interest. And right now, we are about to hover on top of the object that we want our POI to be. And those are my little sisters. And right now we can tap and record the POI. And now to set the radius, we have to fly away from that object that we want our point of interest to be. And the minimum is five meters, the maximum radius is 500 meters. And the minimum altitude is five meters as well. Sorry for that, that was my phone in the background. But I'm going to set the altitude to, I don't know, eight meters just to make sure I don't crash with the next tree. So here they are. And right now there's one last thing that we can set and that's the speed. We can decide whether the copter is going to turn clockwise or anti-clockwise and we can set the speed from 0.1 meters per second to maximum 4.7 meters per second. But the maximum speed always depends on the radius and altitude. So for example, yesterday when I was cruising around the tree, I was able to fly with the speed of 9.1 meters per second. But right now let's just tap at apply. And now we can set a return to home altitude and currently that is set to 40 meters and I think that is absolutely fine for now. The return to home altitude is pretty important because if the copter has a low battery, return to home is something, the copter of course needs to be higher than the object surrounding it. And if the battery level is lower than 30%, you should know that the copter is not able to then continue its POI anymore. But right now let's just tap at apply and you will see the copter starting to circle around my sisters here you go and of course in flight you can change all the settings you can simply lift the copter up a little more if you say oh wow that's too goddamn close altitude is 11 meters right now and of course you can lower the speed depends on 
what you like the best, you can pause the flight or continue it. And of course, if I would now say, okay, I want to record this, then I would tap on hide down here. And right now I would simply select the recording button. And right now the system starts to record. And uh, what are they doing? Are they hitting each other? Uh, uh, uh. Now don't watch that scenery, guys. So, and after that we could simply stop the recording. And to return to the POI menu, we simply tap at the POI symbol at the upper left hand side to bring it back up. And if we want to exit it, we can simply tap at exit and OK. And right now the copter stops and hovers and we return to the P mode and can then manually land the copter. This is how you can fly a POI. Pretty, pretty darn simple, being honest. So it would be kind of cool if you would support my channel. Check out tomstechtime.com slash donate. Would be super awesome if you would return the help so I can continue shooting awesome videos. And it would of course be cool if you would leave a thumb up, subscribe and join my Facebook group, facebook.com slash group slash tomstechtime. This was Tom from TDD Tom's Tech Time. Over and out. Stay tuned and fly safe.